All right, guys. So, um, <laughs> we got the exhaust on the Porsche. It's a little bit on the radical side. Uh, if you didn't know, it's straight pipes. We start out with straight pipes. And I figure at that point, if I don't like those, I could reel it back from there. Everything is cut from the collector on back. So we could always just bolt on a pre-made kit, right? It was more of an experiment than anything. Um, this is my outtakes of it, and then we're going to go to the car, and I'll show you. Um, there's two things I noticed about it. It does have a little bit of, of a Chevy V6 sound to it, if you know what I mean. Uh, and the second thing is, you could definitely tell it's an automatic transmission and not dual clutch when you shift, when you have live pipes. You can just tell by the way it shifts, right? So it does have kind of a 1990 Chevy Lumina kind of sound to it, but about 30 times louder, right? And same as like the M5 when we did this, we left all the all four catalytic converters in it. We only did the back box delete and the resonator delete. So now we have on the Porsche, no catalytic converters. We did, we have catalyst headers, we're running straight pipes, we're running to four inch carbon fiber tips, right? Okay, let's go look. All right, using the big camera today, so if it's a little shaky, that's why. Here we are, and one thing I noticed, we tried to inset the tips as far in as I could, and as they heat up, they come out, and that's what I ended up with. And I set them in about a half an inch in, they're like back here, and as the exhaust heats up, they push out, and that's what I ended up with. I'm not, sorry, it's freaking windy as hell. I'm gonna try to guard the mic a little bit. I'm not super happy with the, how far it sticks out. I think the overall the tips look good. Those are flat cut tips and resonated. You can see right there. Uh, they fill out everything. They fill out the space well for the old exhaust and so on. So let's set the camera on the tripod, start it up and see how she sounds. So it's pretty loud. I don't know how much this mic's gonna pick up. We don't worry too much about it today. Uh, what I need to do tonight is, I guess we need to test the lift out to start with. Put a car we don't like on the lift, just in case it falls over. Uh, we'll pull a E30, the blue E39 in maybe and do it. Once that's done, we'll, we need to put the Porsche up and you put the other oxygen sensor adapter on it. We're still getting a random check engine light. And then once we do that, we'll check everything over. I want to spray the pipes we just put on, probably black, header black. Uh, he did a really good job. And to close some pictures for you of when we were doing it. Uh, I didn't want to take a bunch of video there because it's kind of weird, right? Anyhow, uh, tomorrow I like to get out and get some drive-by, some fly-by clips with it and see what you guys think. We'll have to use... If it's not windy, we use a GoPro, we can stick it on a road sign or something and use that to drive by. If it is windy, we gotta use a big camera and that gets a lot more complex. I have to leave a $2,500 camera on the side of the road while I drive by it, right? Always a little bit risky. Uh, but that's pretty much gonna be it. Just basically hacked everything off. Full straight pipes. So should you do it to your, to your Porsche, your 911, your Cayman? I don't know, the jury's still out. If you live in town, don't do it. If you live in the middle of nowhere like I do, it pretty much doesn't matter what you do, you're just down to whatever you like, right?
is kind of what the situation is. We'll leave it like that. I really don't know yet. I only drove it home. Um, it seems like it makes good power. That's for sure. So I'll show you guys something here with these mufflers that took off. And the way these are set up, these have converters in them. Oh boy. So we took out the primary converters and these are the secondary, but you can see, you probably can't see on that camera, but even the secondary converters are getting stopped up. And I think a lot of that is probably due, well, just the way converters do to start with. The second thing is, is that PCV oil separator, which I haven't seen it. It hasn't been smoking on cold start here lately, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to start pretty much any time. We back around here. Uh, but a little problem like that could definitely ruin the engine. I don't know, you know, it might've been smoking way worse before or not, I don't know. But the ones on, the primary converters are starting to break up and chunks are starting to come off of them. Just the fact that it ran at all with that stuff is kind of a miracle. Like I said, everything we're doing here is making more power. I don't think it's actually making more power. I think it's restoring lost power is what we're doing with it. Uh, as far as the intake goes, we did the washable filter, the cleanable filter, and popped that duct out, which I still have not seen anybody do that on the Cayman. Boxers, yes, to take the little duct coming out, but that's a different setup. Um, but this thing seems to do really good. But like I said, in the very end, it was $100 to throw at this to get this exhaust done, straight pipe. And if I don't like it, to get a, a pre-done up stainless system, what is anywhere from 250 to, I think most of them is five, 600 bucks. So worst case we get sick of this, we'll just do that. But I wanted to do it for you guys for the video. And I do want to race the M5 in this car. And I thought it'd be cool to have both cars straight piped for that video. So that's kind of where we're looking towards Am I gonna keep this car? More than likely it will, so we'll adjust it accordingly. That's gonna be it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon, like tomorrow. Have a good day.